I recently redid the glaive, as you can see. This is all one, it's in four different pieces. And this piece is Sculpey, and then I coated this, well, okay, it's not just Sculpey. Inside I've got steel and wood, um, and then, you know, I, I baked one side, and then I put the other side on, and then baked that side. And then up inside is this plastic piece. Let's see how close I can get without it being too bad. Then these two pieces screw together. And then these two pieces screw together. And then it screws together at the bottom, too. Um, but yeah, I should probably explain better. This is steel and wood reinforced Sculpey, and then it's covered in um, fiberglass resin. So it's good and sturdy. Because last time I just did it, and I've been working with, trying to work with resin more often. And I apologize for this being like the most terribly colored video. It's late and I'm doing this by myself because my husband really didn't want to help. So, okay. I'm going to set this down here. Okay. My pants are falling down too. But, uh, take it apart here. And this one in particular is about six foot five, but I can make it pretty much any color, or any color, any, well, I can't do any color, but I can do any height. Um, but yeah, there's the blade. Probably should have cleaned my stove off a little better. Then it comes apart here. So there, piece number two, and see, I've also put like the, there's 12 of these little beads total. And then at the bottom as well. That way it can ship really quick. And I actually need to repaint this, obviously. I'll do that before I ship it. But yeah, pieces three and four. Um, and it's really easy to just put it right back together. So storage would be pretty simple as well. Um, this bottom piece is also sculpy and then painted. Um, I used spray paint on this one and I think in the future I'm just going to use acrylic paint. This is foam and wood so like when you're screwing it back together it'll do that. You can just pop the pieces back over. And you don't have to screw it together like as hard as you possibly can either, but it uh, doesn't always, you know, hurt to do that. Um, but yeah, so spray painted and then coated with a clear glossy acrylic to protect from chipping. And I don't recommend screwing it together. I mean, like, you can screw it together pretty tightly, but I wouldn't do it so tight because it can be really hard to get apart. I think. I'm also a little on the weak side. This is not going together. Please cooperate with me. I think it's just the angle I have it at. There we go. But like I said, I can do this in any height you want, and it's somewhat height adjustable because the, the threading is so long. If you wanted it to be an inch longer or an inch shorter, just, you know, screw it back how you want it. Um, try not to make this the worst video ever. I think I might have accidentally flipped the camera upside down. I have no idea what I'm doing. Sorry. <laughs> But, yeah, that's, uh, of course, the most intricate piece is the blade. My floor is gross. But, yeah, that's it. And I will have some pictures on Facebook. 